Hey there, Pokemon fans, readers here with a deck review. Uh, in this episode, we're going to take a look at Aurora Blast. This is by far my favorite deck currently in the Pokemon Online TCG uh, from the themes, the theme deck category. And I have 80 wins out of 123. Let's quickly check the ratio. I have my calculator here. It is 65% win rate. Win, uh, yeah, win rate. 65%. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. And few games were uh, due to disconnect. Few losses were due to disconnect because I have plenty of those. But anyways, let's take a look at the deck. This is by far my favorite. I think that I told you that before. We start off with a Pidav, which is one of the worst cards in the in the deck, but not the worst. Uh, look at the top card of your deck, then you may shuffle your deck. This is this may be useful when you want to search for an energy, or basically you can control the top of your deck, the top card of your deck. Or you kinda control it. You don't really control it. But no, it's not such a good Pokemon. It evolves to Tranquil. This is getting even worse. You have the ability to deal 40 damage. Flip a coin if tails the attack does nothing, nothing, and if heads you have you deal forty damage and pre and prevent all attacks and abilities uh, from your opponent to your tranquil. If you know me, you know that I don't like coin flips, uh, and especially when the return is not so good. Uh, then we have Bagon. This is the best Pokemon, not Bagon. This whole line, Bagon, Salgon, Salamans, the best, the all stars of the deck. So Bagon, 60 HP, weakness to fairy. That's okay. Retreat cost one uh, and continuous headbutt. Headbutt. That's funny. Uh, 30 damage. You flip coins. Actually, you flip coins until you get tails and you deal 30 damage for its heads. I don't like it so much because I don't like coin flips, but the game is full of coin flips, so that's a good coin flip. And it, it evolves to Selgun, which is awesome, 8 HP, uh, ex Exoskeleton, this is a 100% Greek word, by the way. Uh, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 10, which is very good. Uh, <laughs> there is a Pangoro in the game, he cannot knock you out, unfortunately. Sorry, Pangoro, you cannot do it, my friend. And with 3 energy, 60 damage, which is awesome. 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 For a stage 1 Pokemon, it is awesome, in my opinion. And then we have Salamence. This is the all-star. 160 HP. That's huge. It cannot be knocked out with, by Dra uh, Dragonair. Dratini? Dragonair? Dragonite. He cannot be knocked out by Dragonite. Dragonite deals 100, 150 damage, if I'm not mistaken and he can knock out dragon dragonair dragon routine dragonair dragonite <laughs> okay now shatter 60 damage with one energy that's huge that's huge power hole uh three energy 20 damage for each card in, in your opponent's hand you basically say hey my friend keep your card advantage and i will deal huge amounts of damage or uh, sacrifice your card advantage and I will deal less damage. That's how it goes. And Steam Blast, 170 damage and you have to discard 3 energy, but that's fine. Because even if you discard 3 energy, you can then continue with 60 damage every turn and, until you get back to 170 or until you power hole again. And why Steam Blast? Steam Blast is, is the best ability in this deck, in my opinion. And why? Why? It is not because it, 170 damage is awesome and there is a huge drawback. Discard, discarding 3 energy is huge, a huge drawback. But having the ability to get rid of your opponent's best Pokemon, because that's basically what it does. It can knock out literally any, any Pokemon in the theme deck category. Any. If I'm not mistaken, any, any of those. Oh, it may not be able to knock out uh, this uh, fighting type Pokemon which gets more HP for its fighting type energy that he has on. But other than this one, I cannot really think of any Pokemon that this one cannot knock out. 
So uh, getting rid, being able to getting rid of your opponent's biggest threat, plus having such a huge HP, he cannot be knocked out easily. He can knock out the opponent's Salamence, if your opponent has a Salamence, and he has the ability to get back to to, do, to dealing Steam Blast again, and he also has the ability to deal more than the Steam Blast with his second uh, his second move. This card is awesome, seriously. And and when he uses Steam Blast, he has the ability to use Shatter uh, in the next turn. I don't know, I don't know. If you don't like this card, I don't know which card you, you may like. But the best that the best is that you can get rid of your opponent's biggest threat. That's it. Let's move on. So, Salamence is the reason why I love this deck. Swablu have nothing to say about that. A bad card, bad card. Articuno, that's the second best card. Uh, 120 HP. Uh, that's not so good because he can... Uh, Zapdos can knock Articuno with one hit. And that's very, very bad. And Articuno cannot knock out Zabdos with one hit. That's very, very bad. So Zabdos deals 120 damage. Articuno deals 100 damage. Zabdos has 120 HP as well. So that's bad. But uh, that's fine. Uh, find Ice is an awesome ability. You fetch three um, water type energy cards. You secure that you will have enough energy to um, get to the freezing excuse me, to the Freezing Wind ability of Articuno, you thin your deck, that's very important, you thin your deck, you remove energy cards, you thin your deck, you increase your chances of drawing non-energy cards, which is basically what you need, since you have all the energy in your hand. You need no, no, not non-energy cards. Uh, yeah, you get, you get to the Freezing Wind faster, Actually, not faster, you secure that you will get the Freezing Wind. And Retreat cost 1, that's very, very, very important. I had to retreat Articuno a lot of times, and with one Retreat cost, that is, it is awesome. So we have a second Articuno, that's the, basically the, the Pokémon of the deck, uh, the, the featured Pokémon of the deck, but I think that Salamence is better. Victini, that's a rare card. <laughs> it, is, it is not bad. But I don't really know why this Victini is here. It is the only Fire-type Pokémon in the deck. I know that there are, there are Fire-type fire energy cards for Salamence. I get that. But I cannot un really understand why Victini is here. Uh, me first, a <laughs> very funny ability, draw a card. That is basically what I use. If I... Uh, I m a few, few times... Many times I start the game with Victini just to have the ability to draw cards in the early game. But I don't try to go to the Cybolt. I don't think that it it worth spending one extra energy for the Cybolt. And I feel like if I go for the Cybolt, I lose the draw cards, the, the me first, and that costs more than, uh, you know, dealing 20 damage and flipping for paralyzation. I don't like that. So... A mech card. I'm not sure about Victini. It is not bad, but I cannot really, I cannot really understand why it is a, a rare. I cannot really understand why it is a rare. Hoot Hoot draws two cards with one energy. Seriously, come on. And it is a common. Dance Pairs. <laughs> this guy is huge in the deck. Do not underestimate him. Uh, he is a free switch basically. If I have, if I have Dance Pairs in my Starting hand, I always, I mean always, always start the game with Dance Pairs. Always. Period. Even though I know that I'm going to switch first turn, first turn, I still start the game with Dance Pairs. I want to see what's my opponent's active Pokemon and switch according to my opponent's active Pokemon. So this guy is a free switch. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck, you may use that. I used it, I tested that. It is not so good, but it's not bad either. Uh, it may be relevant sometimes, it may not. And roll out 20 damage with one energy is not bad for a common card. Uh, he can maybe knock out a Pokemon uh, which, is, which has 20, le 20 HP left. Not a bad card, good one. Taylo, uh, I don't like it. It evolves to Swilo, which is our fourth 
fourth rare and maybe the last rare in the deck. Uh, so this is not so bad. It has the Delta Plus ability, which says that whenever this Pokemon knocks out an opponent's Pokemon, you get you draw two prizes, and that's basically why it is good. Uh, but it is weak. 30 damage with 2 energy and f uh, 50 damage with 3 energy is not so good. But if you set up your game in a way uh, where you, you know, you damage your opponent's Pokemon and then switch and attack with Swilo to grab the two prizes, you may win a game in that way. But I don't like it so much. 90 HP, that's quite low. Still, not, not a very bad Pokemon, but you know. I don't invest on that. I don't invest in th in that Pokemon. Spiro, <laughs> that's a good that's a good fellow. Uh, Peck with uh, 30 damage with two energy, not so good. But it evolves to Firo. Uh, now 30 damage with one energy and 108 HP. I like this one because it can be very aggressive. It can start pecking and damaging your opponent Pokemon, giving you a very good early game. I I basically go with Firo. If I have Spiro, Firo in my starting hand, I will seriously think about playing Spiro first turn, uh, get putting an energy there. Next turn, evolving to Firo and start hitting for 30 damage in the first, in the second turn actually. This can help you knock out few basic Pokémon of your opponent very fast. It is an aggressive uh, solution. Fledgling, I don't like this one. Uh, Wingle, oh, that's a nice one. Wingle is not the best, but Pelipper is good. And I like this one. And it looks like this is our last Pokemon. So, with 2 energy, 30 damage, and heals uh, the amount of damage that it dealt. Uh, that means that if you have a Muscle Band dealing 50 damage, you're going to heal 50. Uh, which is not the case here, but you know. Uh, so, that's, that's a good one. Being able to deal 30 and heal 30. It is good, and if your opponent has uh, water weakness, you <laughs> you heal uh, 60 and 70 damage with four energy. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. That's good if you have uh, if you invest here. Uh, the problem is that if you have to invest on Pelipper for uh, the water pulse, that means that you are in a bad shape. That means that you have no Articuno or Salamans to invest in. But it is better to invest in Pelipper than Firo. Uh, Firo, yeah. It is better, the P Pelipper's ability is better than Firo's, the, the 70 damage ability. But as you can see, this deck has a potential to deal a lot of damage if you have the mana to invest. And you, you most of the times, you have the mana to invest. Let's take a look at the trainers really quick this revive uh, one revive put a basic pokemon from your discard pile into your bench you can bring back a bagon you can bring back a um uh, an articuno that's basically what i do most of the times and you can bring back a a wingle maybe a spiro uh don't bring a swablu back obviously ultra ball this how many? Two, I think. One. One Ultra Ball, unfortunately. Uh, this actually helps you get Selgun or Salamans. That's all. <laughs> you may fetch um, Articuno as well, but I usually fetch uh, Selgun or Salamans. Or even Bagun, if I have the other two in my hand. Switch. That's a very good one to save your uh, Pokemon whenever you want to. Uh, Professor's Letter. Since <laughs> Articuno is not enough in fetching energy cards, you have Professor's Letter to finish off your deck, to leave n zero energy there. Uh, we know now this is n the, the trainer card that I like, that I don't like so much. Search, for, search your deck f for up to three colorless Pokemon, reveal them and put them into your hand, shuffle your deck afterward. I play. I, I use Winona to thin my deck, to remove my uh, uh, colorless Pokémon, to be able to draw the cards that I want to. Sometimes I, most of the times, actually, I get Dunsparce, Firo, Spiro. That's basically what I do with Winona most of the times. 
or but I usually I most of the times I use it to thin my deck to remove my Pokemon from there. Uh, Wally is probably the best card, the best trainer card in the deck. Search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your uh, Pokemon, excluding Pokemon EX, and put it into that Pokemon. That counts as evolving that Pokemon. Shuffle your deck. You can use this card during your first turn or on a Pokemon that was put into play this turn. So, I can play Bagon next turn, involve to shake uh, Shellgun, and boom! Wally involve, evolve to Salamence, deal 60 damage second turn with uh, the first ability of Salamence. Wally is awesome. Um, yeah, very, very good. Tierno, draw three cards, two of those, very nice supporter. Pokemon Shelter Lady to save your uh, damaged, damaged Pokemon and prevent, prevent um, special if, uh, conditions. And Pokemon Fan Club to bring your uh, Articuno, this is the best, maybe the best Pokemon that Pokemon Fan Club can bring from your deck, and Bagon of course, and Steven, search your deck for another supporter, you can get Wally or whatever you want to, and get a basic energy card as well. You actually spend the turn, you actually replace uh, Steven with another supporter and grab an energy. And we have one special energy, double dragon energy, which helps your Selgun, Bagon, Selgun, and Salamans to get faster to the um, attack to their uh, abilities. And seven fire type, ten water type for your Articuno and other Pokemon. So that was the deck review, the Aurora Blast. This is by far my favorite deck currently in the theme category. By far, I'm going to let's play this. I'm going to uh, play this this deck tomorrow, and I'm going to uh, hit the tournaments uh, on Saturday with this deck. So I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you if you don't own this, if you don't have this deck yet, make sure to grab it. I mean, it is the best currently. In my opinion, it is the best deck, the best theme deck currently. It really worths your. 500 uh, Pokemon Online tokens and I really really believe that you can use Salamence in uh, standard decks as well so go buy it if you don't have it and I don't know hit the tournaments with this deck it is going to be awesome so that was it I really hope that you enjoyed this deck review stay tuned for the playtest video tomorrow uh, if you haven't done already subscribe to this channel follow me on facebook twitter and instagram the links are in the description below support me on patreon check the description below for that and i will see you in the next episode until then take good care and be safe bye